I did a lot of different versions of this. This is the first version of the motor. The intent was to make a project, you know, using the CNC machine. And I built what I thought was gonna be a pretty awesome commutator or armature. This sucker would not spin. I thought maybe I shorted out the coils using magnet wire here. Well, I think really what the issue was was that this is too heavy. Probably a lot more voltage and a lot more magnet to make this work. You can see that I glued some magnets here thinking that that would be enough magnetic force to do it. So instead, I just kind of ramrodded my way through this experimentally. Let's not forget the purpose of this. This was to teach my son about electric motors. Well, I ended up teaching myself. <laughs> so here's all the different versions of armatures. This one spins really well, but the wire's too thin. I think this is 24 gauge, so it can't even support itself. Though I'm gonna keep it just cause it kind of works. This is 18 gauge magnet wire, too heavy. It won't spin too much weight. There's an even heavier coil that won't work. Here's another coil that I tried to reinforce with the 18 gauge against the 24 gauge via soldering, but it still bends and, and doesn't spin very well. At the end of the day, I ended up making all this work with 22 gauge wire. And one thing I am happy about is the magnets I used, which if you look on Amazon, these are one inch cube magnets and they're advertised as the strongest magnet in the world. They're neodymium and they're great. And then this little switch. This little switch makes this extra cool. So I'm gonna be at my son's science day tomorrow. I'll be working with him and some of his classmates to show everybody how electric motors work. I now have a working motor. I'm super happy about that. I'm gonna put new batteries in it. I think that'll give it a little bit more power. Let's see if that works. But this should be enough to teach them what do you do with and without a magnet? What do you do with and without the battery? And then press the button and see it work. And they can all say, ooh, and it'll be great. So this was fun. This will probably end up sitting on my son's shelf in his room. And hopefully, as life goes on, he'll remember this. He probably doesn't understand how it's going to work now. But when he gets older, he'll have an inherent curiosity back there about electricity. Because he saw it work firsthand. I committed a sin here that I think a lot of parents commit. And that's doing your kids projects for them. <laughs> that makes me happy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.